Danny here. Uh, got my tea ready. It is 3.20 in the afternoon. I got a little sleepy face because I came home from work and went to bed. But now I'm up and Emmy's going to be home in about an hour, hour and 10 minutes. We got a ball game tonight. School's back in session after Thanksgiving break. And we got to do some meal prep. Justin did cook spaghetti last night. <clears throat> I'm not sure what he sent with the kids for breakfast this morning. He may have just pulled something out of his hat. Toast, maybe? I don't know. But anyway, uh, we got to get some some meal prep going. Some breakfast, some lunch, get some things in order here. So, I'm talking with my hands. Anyhow, like I said, you saw me. I got a glass of tea going. I have my Instant Pot out. We are getting ready to put some burger in the Instant Pot. And let's get into it and get this done. Because we got, like I said, ball game tonight on top of sixth grade math, I'm sure. My oven just beat for some cinnamon rolls. I've got uh, that preheating. Oh. Yeah. All right, I've got four pounds of deer burger that are semi-thawed. I took them out this morning before I got home. Not a big deal. I'm going to cook them in the Instant Pot just so we have some pre-cooked burger because what burger we do have pre-cooked, I'm getting ready to use. I have a lot of new subscribers. So most of the meat that I use as far as ground meat, roast, anything like that, it's all deer from where we hunt it and we butcher and process it ourselves. So you'll see a lot of that on my channel. But you can use turkey, you can use beef, you can use whatever kind of ground meat that uh, you and your family prefer, per, prefer and can afford. So, thank you to all of my new subscribers. I am so excited to have you here. A little bit of an odd angle right now just because I'm just trying to get these in the Instant Pot. I don't really have to angle you into seeing it because it's just... It's just some, it's just some ground meat, y'all. Just ground meat blocks. Now you can do, do these from, I've done these from straight from frozen or thawed. Since these are mostly still frozen, I just kind of use some scissors and cut around the frozen part and get the bag off of there. And for thawed, I do like six to eight minutes. For frozen, I do like 15 to 15 to 19 minutes. Ooh, guys, I got, I woke up when I was sleeping and I was like coughing and choking and I just cannot make my throat stop. My grandpa used to call that vapor locking. <laughs> Anyhow, all right, so cup of water. I don't have a cup, so I have a cup, but it's across the kitchen. So I'm just going to guesstimate in a, in a dill pickle jar. A little water, just pour it in. If you wanna put your onions and your seasonings in here, you could do that now, or you can do it afterward. You can do it like as you take it out to cook it in individual meals. Anyhow. Oh, I guess it's not gonna come down. Okay, individual here, Danny. Let's do, uh, let's do 17 minutes and we'll see where we're at. Sometimes I have to saute it just a little bit longer, but uh, it comes out just fine. This is some of our pre-cooked burger. And I kind of set it out because I just went to bed, guys. So I just set it out in the fridge. Anyway, so when I pre-cook burger, when I get ready to cook it again, you can kind of crumble it up if you don't want to cook the whole batch that you've got in one bag or one bowl. Um, but this time I'm going to cook all of this. So I'm just going to pop this whole thing in the microwave. And while this is microwaving, we will get started on some sausage in here and put the cinnamon rolls in the oven. All right, I got two cans of cinnamon rolls. Uh, I was getting these a deal on Ibotta. They were on sale for $1.25. Uh, 
at Walmart and I was getting a dollar piece back on them. So I was paying 25 cents per can. That beats the Aldi price. And these, they're only five cinnamon rolls in a can. So, but anyway, for 25 cents a can, I bought several and these have been in the freezer. So I have thawed them today. Now my best friend was really shocked when I told her that I had, these, she saw these actually in my freezer. She goes, those aren't exploding on you. I was like, well, they hadn't yet. <laughs> these have been in the freezer for a couple months, so. I don't know, they haven't fought, they haven't, knock on wood, they hadn't exploded yet. So. Although my icing thawed as well though, so I better, uh, better not lose that and make a big old mess, huh? Now, after you bake these, cinnamon rolls freeze very well again. So they're good, they're good meal prep, I find, because Gunnar loves cinnamon rolls. Emmy, not so much. <clears throat> what kind of kid don't like cinnamon rolls, right? She'll eat them, but it's not her go-to. Gunner, he would eat the whole pan at once if I'd let him, but <laughs> um, anyway, so I can cook these and I can put a few in the fridge for the next day or two, or I can just put them all in a baggie and put them in the freezer and he can take them out. And what I do is put a wet paper towel over them in the microwave to help keep the bread from getting like hard as a rock and just microwave for like 20, 15 to 20 seconds, just until it gets nice and warm and thawed. So that's all the instructions say, well, I tell you, but uh, okay. Uh, just 413 to 17 minutes, easy peasy. We're gonna, I'm gonna bug everybody that I don't have them in a perfect circle. Well, some things just ain't perfect in life, y'all. And, and that's just fine. There you go. All right, we've got our burger here. That was just like two minutes in the microwave and it's thawed. We're gonna set that off to the side. My sausage is going good. In this little bowl, I have, we had some Brussels sprouts for Thanksgiving. Boy, I can't hardly get the lid off. This bowl is new. I got it for my birthday. Oh. Well, we might, we might not use these. There we go. Anyhow, we had Brussels sprouts with Thanksgiving and they had red onion in them. And normally I wouldn't use red onion like this, but because um, I have this left over, I want to get it used up. So I'm just going to thaw, uh, thaw, put the red onion in with this sausage for some breakfast casserole. My sausage isn't near done. It's, got, it's still really pretty pink, so it's got a little time. That'll get nice and yummy fragrant in here. Do y'all have a spoon that does this? Because I can't stand this spoon and I really just need to stop grabbing it. I really just need to get rid of it. Watch. It just bends. Oh, I can't stand it. Now these, I got in that little thingy from Timu. Oh, look, the orthodontist office just texted me. And if you'll notice, here's Emmy's retainer case with said retainer in it. She has a tooth coming in where she had lost it. And now I have to take, go, go get it, like a piece of it filed down because it won't fit in her mouth right now. It causes her to be sore. But anyhow, how convenient that they're texting me to let me know that she's got an appointment. It's probably like tomorrow. And I haven't looked at my planner to see. Anyway, a squirrel. This little spoon that I got off of the Timu, it's got the wooden handle and like the, sil I don't know, the silicone, whatever it is, I love it. And it works very nicely, very nicely. All right, now I gotta find them taters that I'm using for our breakfast casserole. All right, here's what I got. I have like a teeny tiny little bit of these hash browns. Oh, I just got burnt. Of these hash browns with peppers and onions. Y'all don't film like I do. I mean, like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm still trying after all this time to decide where to place my camera because I want you guys to see what I'm doing. Then I also have these thin cut fries. Got about a little less than half a bag. I'm going to put some of them in here too. Got them on sale for super cheap, like 70 cents or 75. It's, it's been a while since I did that. So. I got a little left in here for right now. I'm going to leave them on the counter. I'm going to stir these in. Let these get thawed and cooked up. We got about nine minutes 
cinnamon rolls here. Oh, you probably can't see that. It's probably backwards, isn't it? There we go. About nine minutes left on the cinnamon rolls. Let's find a bowl up here for our eggs. Now we're gonna use this little rectangle pan. It's not like a cake pan, it's like half of a cake pan. Uh, so I'm gonna put six, I'm gonna use six eggs. You could use 12 eggs if you want to, but because I'm using the sausage and the potatoes, we're gonna use six eggs. Oop, I thought I had the button pushed, my bad. All right, I'm using our farm fresh eggs. So I always crack them into another bowl, as you can see. And y'all know how to crack eggs, so I'm not gonna make a stand to sit here and watch me, but just putting six eggs in one batch. Now I'm making two batches, so we'll use the whole dozen, but we're gonna use six and six. Guys, I took my scissors and I <laughs> cut up some of those potatoes after they got soft, some of those fries, so that they're more like small little chunks. And I'm just gonna put, put whatever seasoning that you, you want on your stuff. Now I'm gonna use a little bit of milk. If you don't have milk, just use water. Makes it fluffier, makes it go farther. I don't care what people argue about, I'm using milk. And we can season this here if we'd like. I'm gonna give her a little mix. bring our pan back. Can we see? I'm going to spray our pan. Mm, better get a little more. Well, oh, maybe not. Maybe not quite that much, Danny. Come on now. Anyhow, what I like to do Take a little bit of my meat mixture and potatoes. Now you want to do this kind of quickly because you don't want it to cook your eggs and this is very hot. So about half the pan. In here, get it all mixed up. You could add cheese in here if you like. I heard someone on a video say, cheese is for rich people. They're probably uh, not, not, not wrong. Cheese is for rich people, it's expensive. But I got this block. It's sliced, it's actually sliced cheese, but I got it at the grocery salvage store and they were on sale two for three dollars. It says two ninety nine, but I actually got it, it's a pound and I got it for a um, dollar fifty, which is fifty cents cheaper than the Aldi. So I'm just going, because cheese is so expensive, I'm just gonna put some on the top, I think. For right now, we're just going to put this in here and we'll repeat this into a second pan. I'm gonna set this off to the side because the cinnamon rolls are done and I'm gonna put both pans of the breakfast casserole in the oven at the same time so it gets done at the same time. Oh, these look nice. I'm gonna let these cool just for a minute and I'm gonna put the icing on. I want to put the icing on while they're still warm so it gets nice and melty on them. All right, we've got two breakfast casseroles done and instead of using aluminum foil, I'm going to cover them with this cookie sheet. Ah, it'll do, it'll be fine. I don't want to keep wasting aluminum foil. So I'm not wasting, but you know, like I don't want to waste, I don't want to use a bunch of aluminum foil. So if these will fit on the shelf with the cookie sheet on top of them, I'm, I'm going to fry it, guys. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. I might regret this later. Might work. Might work. Might be a genius. Who knows?
Y'all, I quit counting, so um, I'm trying to make two two cups of gravy. Anyhow, it's supposed to be like three tablespoons. Uh, I got, I squirreled, I quit counting. I got to watching uh, if I was getting heaping spoonfuls or not, so. Welcome to my squirrely life. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. Does this pan look familiar? Probably so. It should. Anyhow, it's a little stuck there on the bottom, it'll be fine. Now I cut all the fat off of all my deer meat. So I'm gonna put just a little bit of oil in the bottom of the pan. I'm gonna put the burger that I have pre-cooked in said pan. And I'm using my egg spoon. Don't worry, I rinsed her off. And if I didn't, it's all it all eats the same, but don't worry, I did. Put some seasoning on it. Whatever kind of seasoning that you'd like. Now this is gonna be my take on a, uh, like a shepherd's pie. I gotta get some onion. After I throw it on the floor for a minute. I'm gonna put a little onion on here. You know what I didn't do? I didn't look to see how, what time it was when I put that breakfast casserole in the oven. We're gonna do 30 minutes. I think it's been about 10 minutes. I'm gonna put some time, I put a timer on this for 20. I'm a little squirrely today, y'all, sorry. It's all gonna taste good. Justin already asked if he could have a cinnamon roll. It was good. Was it good? Did you have one? Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. I was telling them that I like woke up in my sleep, like choking, like coughing and stuff. And I told them that's what grandpa used to call vapor locking. All right, one bag of mixed veggies, frozen. They're a little fall, but they're still frozen. And I rinsed our egg whisk, so I'm just gonna whisk up this gravy. I want the gravy to get a little on the thicker so thick side before I pour it over the veggies. And we're just gonna let that go for a minute. I'm gonna wash this egg bowl over here and uh, uh, use it for the mashed potatoes. All right, friends, here we are. Can you see? I got my big old pan casserole dish thingy bobber out. Let me see if it says what size it is. It says big, cake size. I don't know, it doesn't say. So anyway, got that out. I got my veggies and my meat mixture here. I'm just gonna put this in the pan. Ooh, it smells so good. Let me turn this gravy on here. This is actually going to be pretty thick. I could probably, if I wanted to, I could break this into two different pans, but I will just leave it like this. We've got our gravy here. Got it on a little on the thick side. Pour that in there. Stir it in. I got some water going over here, getting ready for our potatoes, our mashed potatoes. Now, I am not like English, obviously. Y'all can probably tell that. But I don't know how to make true shepherd's pie. I probably could figure it out. I do know that I think it's made with lamb, which I did get some lamb on sale, some ground lamb on sale. Um, and I thought, ooh, I'm going to try to make and see what that tastes like because I've never had it before. But anyway, this is how I'm doing. And everybody loves it. It's good. It'll be real good for the kids for lunch this week because it's chilly and this will be oh so good. 
Now that is steaming hot. Can y'all see it steaming? Probably. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's put a little cheese. Little cheese. And now when the mashed potatoes get done, we will add the mashed potatoes and put her in the oven. How about that? See you in a minute. Did y'all think I forgot about the meat? Ow, that's hot, just so you know. Whew. Anyway, I did not forget. Here we go. It's been, it says low 24, it's been sitting for 24 minutes while I've been doing the rest, rest of the stuff. Now, I want you to look at it. See the water in there? Get out of your shadow. That's the water from, you know, where we had to put water in it to cook it. Now I'm gonna pick the Instapot up without filming, because y'all know I'm gonna get burnt. I'm gonna drain that water off and see how the rest of the meat is doing. But first, the oven was screaming at us. Look at these babies. Let me get my little pot holder here. Don't look at the oven. We gotta clean that thing. I'm not shaking. Oh, they look so good. Oh, quit screaming at me, oven. Come on now. What I'm gonna do is sprinkle some cheese on the top just to left to let it melt. Get yummy up in there. Try not to sprinkle it in the oven. I'm gonna do this on both of them. And make this thing stop screaming at me. Ah! I'm gonna let my heat out. I got hot uh, <laughs> standing in front of the stove. But I've hired this guy to hold my camera so you guys can see the, uh, the meat. Look at him looking at it like, mmm, dinner. All right, back to our usual programming. Looks like we're thawed, but we're not quite. Now I left some of the juice in the bottom so I can still fry this up a little. I'm gonna put this on saute. And we're still a little on the pink side. So I'm going to let it keep cooking. I'll come over here and stir it every now and then. It'll be scrumptious. Was it good? Yeah, it was pretty good. I had a piece of it. I don't know who else had any pieces of it, but I didn't go back. All right, back to this side of the kitchen. I've got some mashed potatoes. This is a huge box that I keep in my emergency food pantry. And the ex I checked it before I went and got my Thanksgiving groceries and the expiration says best if used by December 13th, 2023. So I thought I should use it. So I used about half the box with Thanksgiving. So I'm just gonna keep working on trying to use up some of these mashed taters. What I'm gonna do is eyeball it. I'm gonna fill that bowl about that much. I have heated in my kettle some water to boiling. I'm just gonna pour it in. If you get too little, you can, uh... let me rinse this off. You can add, you can always add more water or more taters, whatever you, may or may not need. Just be careful not to get burnt. You can do this in your cook pot if you want to. Most people, normal people I think do it in the cook pot. Justin's behind me at the uh, meat that we've got finishing up over on this side of the kitchen. Anyway, we're just gonna stir these until they're ready. All right, mom life got me feeling like, hey, hey. We got our mashed potatoes done. The bowl is very hot, so I am not going to make that mistake. Let's do this. We'll scoop it out. Bellies. 
gonna try to smooth it out best I can. This may not be the correct way to do it, guys. But hey, turns out fine. Emmeline just walked in the door. Hey, baby girl. Are your glasses fogging up from coming in from outside? Yeah, mommy's got the oven going and the Instant Pot going. All right, now, let's just try to get this smoothed out best we can. That way every little bite gets some taters in it. How about that? Now, what's the trick? What's the trick to getting the potatoes smoothed out on here, guys? If y'all make a shepherd's pie or a true shepherd's pie or oh, something similar, do you have to wait for the uh, food underneath to cool? That might be, that might be it. Well, <clears throat> ain't nobody got that kind of time in life. And we're hungry around here. We're not eating this right now, but <laughs> we're in a hurry around here. Not too big a hurry, but. We gotta leave in about an hour for a ball game. I'm just gonna sprinkle the rest of this, well, not the rest of it, but some of this cheese. I might need to, I might have to shred the rest. I only shredded half of that package that I showed you guys. I might need to shred the rest for the other lunch that I've got for Emmy. Okay. Add some more season to the top. Now I'm gonna put this in the oven. I'm gonna turn the oven off. I'm gonna put this in the oven just long enough for the cheese to melt. We're not eating this right now, so it'll be just fine. But I just want that cheese to get good and melted on there so that whenever we get ready to scoop, scoop this out and heat it up for the kids' lunches, uh, the cheese is already good and melted into the potatoes. Another lunch that I'm gonna get together for Emmeline is kind of like a homemade um, pizza Lunchable. And I got these flatbreads. Mama Mary's flatbread pizza crust. They were $1.59 at the salvage store. And they've been in the freezer, so I, I have thawed them. What I'm gonna do is, they're kind of like long rectangles. I'm gonna cut them in half and put two, two or three of them in her lunch. I thought what I'll do is put some cheese and pepperoni in a little bowl together. And I actually might just put the pepperoni on top of some cheese, if that might work. Or just drop this pepperoni into our lunchbox, actually. I've thawed some spaghetti sauce or pasta sauce, whatever kind of sauce you wanna use. Uh, it's not quite completely thawed, but when it does thaw, I'm just gonna put it in a bowl with a screw on the lid because if I put it in one that just like pops off, I'm afraid she'll spill that sauce all over, but this way she can just unscrew it and it'll be easier for her. But she'll have, if, if you don't make a mess, you're not doing it right. So she'll have some cheese. She can put the sauce down, the cheese down, the pepperoni down, and have like her own homemade Lunchable. And then I've got a second pepperoni slit that I'll keep in the pantry. I'm gonna put the rest of this cheese in a bowl in the fridge. And of course there's more sauce, so she can have um, a homemade pizza Lunchable for at least two days between now and Christmas. I'm hoping that um, some of this meal prep will last us through Christmas. We've only got like three and a half, two and a half weeks or so of uh, school left until we're on Christmas break. All right, the last thing that we're going to make is their sweet treat, which is strawberry jello. Why? Because it's like 60 cents and it goes a long way. Now you might hear Emmy and, and Justin working on some uh, math in the background. I don't worry about them. Stop and go ahead. They won't care to hear you. I have bolt some water over here in the kettle. Now it says to um, one cup of boiling water. I am gonna measure this out because I don't wanna make it where it won't set right. So there's one cup of boiling water. Mix that until it's all dissolved. And 
once that's dissolved, we'll pour our cold water in. Notice our friends down at the end of the table. They'll, they're just fine. It's 5.06 now. So it's been a couple hours, not quite not quite two hours. Um, let's see if I'm doing that. 3.20 to, yeah, I think I can do that math right, maybe. Anyway, this is what we've got prepped. We've got our Jello. We have some pre-cooked meat, four pounds of pre-cooked meat. We've got our shepherd's pie, two pans of breakfast casseroles, some cinnamon rolls. So these will last quite a while. Gunner sometimes will take two of these at a time. And then uh, some pizza, like a, like a homemade pizza Lunchable for two days. Are you excited about pizza Lunchable? <laughs> anyway, that is what we've got. Now, I don't have time in life to spend a whole day cooking. I would love to spend a whole day cooking, but I don't always have time to spend the whole day doing meal prep, but I'm also not gonna pay for convenience. So, gotta, gotta put in at least a couple hours to uh, help save some money and keep their bellies full. Anyhow, all right. If you're not subscribed, if you like this video, if you like and subscribe, and thank y'all for watching. Emmy just asked me what's on my shirt. What is that? Mashed potato, maybe? I don't know. Oh, well. Anyhow, that's that.